and of course not forgetting Chad Chad's Honey. Yep. Chad's Honey. Thank you very much. I mean, absolutely wonderful. But of course, it's time to move on. And this is from one lady with vision to another. And this is going to be a little bit different because this is the first time that bed and breakfasts have appeared on the show. I'm here just outside the village of Puckle Church, a stone throw away from the southwest largest city, Bristol. It's got some fantastic views, but I'm here to check out the first local food heroes from a B&B. Sue James believes that offering her guests the very best of local ingredients is the way to go. And with the place she booked for months, it seems to be working. Tell me how and when it all got started. Uh, it happened in November 2003. Yes. We didn't want to be a normal B&B. Um, there were quite a few round here, and I didn't want to invest all this money converting the stables, giving up our jobs, only to find that we had to wait for somebody to knock on the door sure. and say, have a room for the night. Um, so we knew we had to attract people here. Um, I'd always grown organically um, fruit and vegetables and done all my own jams, pickles, chutneys, anything you can think of, and always loved cooking. We decided to use the same sort of quality in our B&B that we'd done for ourselves. Mm. And this is what started off the quest to do local food, homegrown and homemade. It's all about the freshness of the food, the quality of the food, knowing how the pigs were reared, um, how the food is grown. I can actually talk to the producer myself and say, well, how have you grown your tomatoes? How fresh are they? Do you grow them organically? And it makes my job really easy because people think I'm clever or a good cook. And really, it, it's just the, the quality of the food that I'm cooking with. So tell me about the breakfast then. I just love creating something different. Um, I, love, I love it when guests say how wonderful the food is. Um, and I just get a real buzz when I'm cooking. Sue, what have you got for me? I've got sunshine baked egg. Beautiful. So uh, tell me a little bit about this dish and why it came about. Well, we wanted to make something a little bit different um, in our specials mm. menu. And we just sat down and said, well, how can we make something out of this, uh, these ingredients and uh, the baked mm. egg? Lovely. Fantastic start to the day. And that egg, beautifully mm. cooked. Mm. They're your own hens, aren't they? Yes. Can't get any right. fresher. No, no. Amazing. Oh, I had nothing away about there. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, here's a chance for us to test out one of the reasons why Sue's B&B is so popular. Her cooking. Absolutely. And she's got for us here heavenly deviled pig's kidneys on hot butter toast with a poached egg. You can smell that, can't you? The, the, the devil that you're going on in those That's kidneys right. is there. And you've got the Fern Cottage Sunshine Baked Egg, which also looks pretty delicious. Yeah. I Huge mean, portions. Big on breakfast. This is a real statement. I'll give you that. <laughs> Thank you. And I'll break into that egg so you can really get... Mm. Some of the great flavour of that egg melting all over it. And it's home cooking, but it's really done well. She really wants people to enjoy some of these great old dishes. Would you like a mm. tomato on there? Yes, go on, put it on there. I'll put it on yep, there. Yeah, great. Mm. Acidity, yep. a warmth of mustard, all those kind I'm of trying. things that are going on there. And, um... Everything's sourced locally around her. She keeps her own little hens. Big emphasis and effort made to source locally. And that's great. The whole reason for Local Food Heroes is, you know, supporting all of your local growers and so forth right. and so on. And, and she's doing that. Mm. And then, of course, this is quite nice. So essentially she's got the... It's almost like the, the kind of the, the full English there to a point, isn't it? You know, bacon, mushrooms egg that's been baked in the centre of it. And look at the colour of that yolk, just as you done. said. Look yep. at it. Yep. Looks lovely, doesn't it? It does. And it's, it's the egg that's exciting me, probably more than anything. It's just that the colour of that. Amazing colour of yolk. Oh, superb. So that's Sue James from Fern Cottage. Well, both very, very good dishes, Sue, but for me, the favourite... 
the sunshine baked egg. Mm. Definitely. <laughs> well, you know, as we know, all of our local food mm. heroes, they're about pride, they're about passion, they're about caring about the community and, of course, environmentally friendly as well. And, of course, the next food hero that we're going to meet, well, he's built up quite a big, major operation, hasn't he? He's incredibly successful now, but the principles that he started with are still there, and I think that's quite admirable. Here in Buckfast Lee, South Devon, farming's been a 